What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Back to y'all with another video today, man. Woo! This, this is a tough one, man. This has been a very interesting week. It has, bro. The, the Diddy Meister has been got. Not the Diddy Meister. <laughs> He's been got by the, uh, uh, what was it? Yes. Um, what uh I don't know the New York police or whatnot they they raided his place I believe it was on Monday I was we were live streaming Monday yeah. Night Raw you weren't there unfortunately but mm -hmm. someone had typed in the chat they got Diddy I was like what and then more people start typing I'm like what's happening so I check you know TMZ they quick with it oh bro they, they man they got that boy and they are not letting him go yeah man he keeps trying to uh, get bail mm -hmm. um, but they're denying bail I think they just denied him bail again uh -huh. um, today the day that we're recording this mm -hmm. um, so it looks like they're not letting loose on the situation um, so of course uh, as you guys know, there's been this ongoing, um, you know, investigation on Diddy. Um, and of course, now it's in the, the sex trafficking uh, eyes look now. So now they're trying to do all kind of, you know, storming through the house and raiding and whatnot, just rambling through things. We're kind of finding out some of the things and items that they're coming across. What was it? A thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricants Lubes, like. uh ar-15s with the serial numbers scratched <laughs> out ammunition and i'm sure there's other stuff that they haven't released but that's the headlines that everyone's talking about a thousand plus bottles of lube and and baby, baby oil. oil that's kind of wild for the freak offs and they're actually using that in the uh like the, the proceedings going forward that's weird um, Freak offs. freak offs as a term term yeah i mean things that we've been saying online but now it's being brought up into the court system is kind of interesting i'm not surprised but i mean at the same time too you kind of starting to see um differentiating differentiating mm -hmm. views yeah 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 lately like, like you starting to like as of today just me mm -hmm. browsing through social media a little bit just trying to catch up on what's been going on um yeah you're starting to see people just like uh you can't go to jail just for having, being a freak. Yeah. Or, you know, having parties where people agree to come over and just have fun. Um, and that's the thing. People agree to come over, but they may not agree to what happens after the yeah. initial party is over. Oh, I'm and and I them. think that's the the argument and that's the reason why he may be in the situation because there's people have come out and said hey you know what i'm saying i was forced essentially to do this even though mm -hmm. i didn't want to because of business dealings and yeah. you know him being able to have that so much power that you know if i don't do this or i don't agree to this i may lose some opportunities or people not even realizing maybe end up getting drugged and doing it and that's not including the ladies that he may invite over that, you know what I'm saying, didn't willingly come there. And then that's some of the things that I was seeing, too, about people saying that a lot of the drinks mm. were spiked, and, you know, with and here's, things in them. Here's the thing, and we, we may not want to admit it, but a lot of times, even just, you know, back in the day, that was the norm. Yeah. That was it the was. norm, the Pill Cosby effect. That was the norm of people. Not the Pill doing like putting people's putting stuff in people's drinks and half the time they not even remember what happened mm -hmm. so i'm i'm willing to bet not saying that it's 100 percent true but i'm willing to bet that that may have been one of the things going on so for people making that argument i know some people have said uh i want to say it was uh eat envy i think envy mm. recently said that you know the initial bail for uh diddy was like 50 million 50 or something million, like that yeah. which is crazy that he has that even type of money to even say hey i'll do this but they denied it. um i think envy was like well harvey weinstein was able to get a bail why wasn't he able to get a bail and here's the thing he was a sicko too and he's he's serving what he you know deserves right it's now not compared to sicko but though. you know at the end of the day you know he they deem him as a flight risk you know, someone that's you know has a lot of money can move things around if he needs to, mm -hmm. and they've been they've been doing this. I mean, he'd been on a, essentially the run for a minute because they've yeah. raided his career before, but he wasn't even there. He got on a jet and <laughs> dipped. So that's why it's one of those things where it's like, um, even to put that out there just to say, oh well, Harvey Weinstein got it. I was like, ah, that's not a a, a hill I would die on because 
if the rumors are true, well, we know with Harvey Weinstein, he he was a sick freak yeah, yeah, and sick. a sicko. So you know, kudos to him. Not kudos to him, but glad that he's in the situation he's in now, and you know, he's gone, and we ain't yeah. got to worry about that. But if the rumors are true and the stories are true, and especially with the Cassie situation and that footage yeah. being leaked, it doesn't look good for him. And I'm be honest with you, I, I think you know this is a bed that he has to potentially lay in. Potentially, he's laying in it. He, <laughs> you know he what I'm saying? It. So he made ask, it and he's laying. asking for him to get the same fair treatment as Harvey Weinstein. It's not, probably, it's not the time for that. Yeah, like who probably shouldn't have got a bail either. Yeah, you know it, it just you know. For me, I'm I'm not dying on that hill. If he's in that situation, they keep denying his bail. Hey, he gonna have to you gonna have to deal with it, bro. The evidence may be extensive enough to to do it. Yeah, and that too. We, we don't not, know we don't exactly. Know, yeah, we don't know everything. We don't know all mm -hmm. of the details. I mean, of course, a lot of people are coming out now, which is something that usually happens after an incident happens with someone, and they're just throwing out all these random. Oh, I was there. I used to see this, or I didn't drink nothing when I was there. Uh, you know, so it's like mm -hmm. it's a lot of information that we're being bombarded with at one time. So they do have to go through the legal process of fishing out what's true, what's not, mm -hmm. and based off the evidence they're finding, bro. They may have a reason why they're trying to take them off of deeming to be able to have a bond. Oh, like, for I mean, sure. Oh, for we're, sure. We're not in the courtroom. We're not in an investigation team to see what's actually going on behind closed doors. But if what they're finding that we know of is wild. Imagine what they haven't exposed yep. to the public yet. This is, you know, information that they hard may drives that they may have confiscated yeah. and all types of stuff. And granted, I'm sure, you know, the diddler himself. Definitely had backup hard drives and extensive other things in other places. I'm willing to bet he didn't just have everything on his freak off file on his fucking desktop, just Nor did he sitting name it freak there. Off. The freak off file, yeah. um, terabytes, not gigabytes, terabytes of just just wildness. But I'm willing to bet there's some there's a justifiable reason that they said, you know what, let's make the move now. Let's get this guy up out of here, bro. Because yeah. I mean, he he moving freely. Nah, we gotta get this guy up out of here. We got enough evidence. Let's go. It's it's a very unfortunate situation. It is. Um, because a lot of people looked up to him. Um, oh, of a lot course. of people in the you know the hip hop community and whatnot. And at the end of the day, a lot of people now it's kind of wild too because people wanted to meet Diddy at points of time. Like yeah. you want to meet certain people that were such hierarchies in position growing up. And so now they're starting to everybody who took a picture with him, they're questioning now. Or everybody that was in the video with him. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like we should give everybody you know. Like put him on the radar just because they oh, took you a picture or a video. Well, well, yeah, I didn't know like, that nigga was a freak. I mean, yeah. I knew, but I ain't stay. I ain't. I wouldn't a lot part of, people, of that. A lot shit. of people didn't know. Some people. I mm -hmm. mean, bro, you meet your idol. You don't know what you yeah. know. Strange things that they may be into behind mm -hmm. closed doors. It's not like you know them like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I'm this Jay or this Wooty Whoop or Wayne. Mm -hmm. Man, hey, let me take a picture of Drake. Whoever it is. Yeah, you're not. That don't mean <laughs> I know <laughs> what's going down. What they about to do after they take that picture. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't need to know. Oh, no, bro. You said, I saw that pic, bro. Did You you must have been invited. Like, no, I wasn't. We gotta, we gotta relax. <laughs> I went home. <laughs> <laughs> we got to relax on that. But again, more things are going to be coming out. It's just, it's very, not fresh, but fresh for him actually getting uh, picked up and locked up and being denied not bail. Letting him go, um, bro. So more things are going to be coming out more and more and more. Um, so we're going to read a little bit of this article mm -hmm. that Ross had pulled up and just kind of bounce off of that as well. Uh, which part was it? Uh, basically Homeland Security, which, okay. you know, when they're involved, it's it's something important. Homeland Security investigated. Uh, uh, investigation uh, New York said the March raid was part of an ongoing investigation, but did not elaborate at the time. Obviously, they wanted mm -hmm. to keep things kind of low, low. Uh, the mogul lawyers uh, called the raids a gross overuse of military level force. Tuesday, the indictment, however, revealed some of what the authorities recovered in those raids. Narcotics, uh, three AR-15s with the face serial numbers, ammunition, drum magazine, and evidence aligning with the freak-offs so graphically outlined in Ka uh, Cassie's lawsuit. Also, re um, um, they recovered more than a 10, more than, uh, not said 10,000, I hope not, but more than a thousand bottles of room. Uh, baby <laughs> oil and lubricant, according to the indictment, which alleges the Combs subjective, uh, subjective victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse to cause the victims to engage in freak-offs. 
Uh, Combs maintained control over his victims through, amongst other things, physical violence, promise of career opportunities, which we've heard of before, of course. granting and threatening to withhold financial support by other coercive means, including tracking their whereabouts, dictating the victims' appearance, monitoring their medical records, controlling their housing, and supplying them with control substances yeah that that That's is very wild bro and once again if that <laughs> footage of cassie being released that kind of it it hurts his case mm -hmm. of trying to paint the picture like that's not not true when you see the footage and then you line it up with some of just what was reported here the verbiage you already you already can paint that picture because the way he was doing cassie in that hotel and the fact that he bribed them paid the money to get the footage that just lets you know what else what, what else could it be and then again that with him lying saying that he didn't do it and that wasn't you know yeah that, that it, wasn't the case that really made him his words now unbelievable so mm -hmm. even with him trying to get bail and stuff like that that works against you now because now I can't, they can't take your word yeah anymore you know yeah you to, can sit up there and say i know he's been trying to do <laughs> i'll do the ankle monitoring i'll do this i'll do this yeah. i'll do this i'll stay here Man, nah, no bro. No more. Nah, bro. We we invested some money into catching your ass. Yeah. We got you. We're gonna sit you here. We're gonna sit you here. And then to Envy's point again, like they said about the whole oh, yeah, you already want to see. We already know we never get a fair shot in life. Of course, right? So, <laughs> so that I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like that's okay because it's absolutely not. Mm. All I'm saying is we already know that the odds are already stacked against us when you do certain things and you know. Um, it's already a, 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 a lens that's on you that's waiting for you to, to F up, basically. You know you have to move a certain type of way. Yeah. And he's been moving like this for God knows how, how long. long um, how many people that were involved. I did see a video, I don't know how true it is, about a list of uh, people that they're saying are names of folks that were involved. Man, things are gonna come out. You know, Cat Williams said it the best. Mm -hmm. He said a lot of stuff is gonna start coming out, and that's exactly what's happening. And that's what happened when you follow the wrong people. You put stake in man and not God, and then this is what the things that start to happen, man. You start yeah. to getting, you know, um, kind of in the realm of folks with this bad and negative energy. And just mm -hmm. well, again, at some of these parties, I mean, you're a celebrity. You knew you're not really knowing that how things go down in some of these events but that's where staying to yourself choosing the right circle that saves your life yeah in more ways than one you know what i'm saying so it's an unfortunate situation man but again as more come to light uh if y'all want us to talk about it we definitely can but i do mm -hmm. feel like there's some big stuff still waiting to, to come about because most people don't like to fall alone yeah know? facts it's they, usually ooh, more than one person boy, especially if plea deals get involved <clears throat> boy Cause Diddy don't look like he the type that's gonna ride. <laughs> pause. <laughs> that's gonna ride hey, for for the yo. for the homies and not tell on the set. Fuck all that. I can if there's a plea deal involved. Cause the the type of years that he's potentially facing life. is life. Yeah. Mm. So if there's a deal to be had, best believe pew, the pew, Diddy pew, Meister pew, pew, pew. will be exposing all that he can to mm. lessen his time. I, I just I just feel that's that's. It kind of aligns with, you know, somebody. Hand that, in hand. Yeah, it aligns with, you know, what we've seen so far. And, you know, just more of the story at the end of this to wrap this up, man. If you know anybody that got more than one bottle of baby oil, you may want to be cautious of them, yeah. you know, because they may be in some freak offs too that you may not know. Because I don't, I don't see the need of having more than one bottle of baby oil. I'm just saying. I'm not going to judge your baby oil use, but I just will judge. say. Wait, damn, you got two? Wait, what? Two might not, you know what I'm saying? You might the baby or kids on the got a baby? one. They might. They ain't got no baby. Why he got two bottles of baby oil just sitting know. there? Look, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Why is there? What's going on here? There ain't a thought. Are there cameras in here? I'm I'm I feel bad for the crew to have to count all them bottles to get to a thousand. They probably guesstimate it. Eh. It's probably more than that. Oh yeah, I'm willing to bet. He had money. Man, so he had a freak off. Part of Sexy. the crib, yeah. yeah you know like, what I'm saying? Like breakaway points where you just push a button and yeah. things start yeah. flipping, rotating. To the music <laughs> Lights come dim, on. Yeah. Uh, freak offs start happening. It's time. <laughs> Stuff start falling from move. the ceiling, poles, and all <clears throat> types of contraptions. Remind me of um. <clears throat> it remind me of uh, What's that? Uh, next Friday mm -hmm. when uh. Oh yeah. Uh, day day. <laughs> <Yeah. there. laughs> 
Yeah, if you know, you know. Yeah. Bro. It's, it's yep, very wild. Yep. But hey, uh, <laughs> anywho, uh, prayers for everyone, all the parties involved in this situation, victims, and, and yeah. all sorts, because it's just unfortunate, unfortunate everywhere. Mm-hmm. He has family, he has kids as well yeah. that have to be a part of this now. You know, no one wants to see their dad yeah. being a part of such a, you know, atrocious, yeah. um, you know, lawsuit and just talking about it just messes up lineage in that point. At that point, Hatch. you know, now it's like when everybody see you, they always they they automatically connect you to your dad. Mm-hmm. And that kind now you're guilty by association. Yeah, it's just, and that may not even that's my times I've seen the family name. The yeah, never, you know, but it just messes up the family name. So there's a lot of people that's involved with this that just got to shoot out a prayer for because. It's just unfortunate in, in all um, areas, but hopefully justice is served for those that deserve it. And, you know, they do right by what needs to be done in, legally. You feel me? For but sure. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video somewhat. If you do, make sure you write down below in the comments what your thoughts were. If y'all want us to check out some more of this, some more breaking news uh, situation that y'all want us to, you know, chop it up about, just let us know. But it's your boy Dove. It's your boy Ross. In the clutch. Catch y'all later. Peace. Peace. Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.